Good day. Uh, I hope everyone is having a good day. I thought I would step out here and take a look at the surroundings in the daytime. It seems like I uh, don't get out in the daytime much. It really is pretty here on the moon. Uh, you can see a couple of the other planets. There's the uh, Sophia 1, the Earth-like planet. There's uh, Sophia 2, the Mars-like. And uh, uh, that uh, close to the sun is probably Sophia 3. Looks like the uh, surroundings are peaceful at the moment. Uh, the pirates dropped by and uh, took a few pot shots at me earlier, so... It's kind of nice that they're staying home at the moment. I uh, just put up a couple of solar cells over here as far away from the pirates as possible. I've, we need a little more power. I'll show you a couple of other things that I started also. Not much, but... Uh, need to make some progress here. Started a, a reactor over here in the corner. Don't have uh, uh, enough um, uh, silver, I think it was, to complete it, but at least there's a placeholder there, and I'm, I know it's a reminder that I have to complete it. I also put up two more uh, LCD screens here for um, to-dos. One is going to be long-term to-do and the other one will be a, a, a short-term to-do. Around here, we're getting a whole wall full of LCDs. This is uh, the, the one idea I've had so far for the, the suggestions to the colonists. Uh, I think a uh, constitution include should include the, a uh, statute, article, whatever, that states that the government only uses one language. I, I think that uh, citizens should be encouraged to uh, learn as many languages as they can or want to, but the government should only use one language in all its documents and all its activities. That will ensure maximum understanding by the maximum number of citizens, I believe. Eh, they might listen to me, they might not. Uh, I'm not sure whether this is a, a real exercise or if it's just a test to make sure my mental acuity stays within acceptable bounds during this lonely assignment. I put in a, uh, a display by M. Master, another person on Seoul. Uh, uh, don't know, but uh, appreciate the work he or she has done. Should this shows the reactors solar cells, batteries, uh, what they have on the batteries, what they have stored, the reactor, the reactors, how much they're outputting, solar cells, how much they're outputting, and uh, how much is being used by the refineries and the oxygen generators, etc., etc., etc. Ah, the Tweety Bird. Whenever I get a communique from Earth, the little Tweety Bird sings his song. Uh, cargo used. That's kind of handy. Uh, make sure I don't fill up all my cargo space. Uh, I'm not even close right now. I just went out and got a, and mined a little cobalt. I was going to tape it, but I forgot to. And, but we still need to go out and get some silver and some platinum and gold. 
so there's many more opportunities to tape some mining <clears throat> excuse me okay well let's uh let's go get some platinum that sounds like a good one i can get some better tools then And I know there's some here because I saw it last time we were out. Okay, off charge. Thrusters on. Connector unlocked, connector off, rise up a bit, turn the connector on for when we get back. Let's use the uh, outside view. And uh, where are we? There we go. Platinum, that's this direction looks like it's one of the ores that uh, my predecessor found because he has a marker over there Nice flat plane. This would be a good place for a wheeled vehicle. Okay, where is the platinum? Wherefore art thou platinum? 365 meters. Which direction? That's a big dig. Is there a closer spot? That's a little more than I'm comfortable doing here. Let's see what we can... Bound to determine to turn me into a deep tunnel miner, isn't he? Wow. Well. Pressing the forward button in bursts it seems to be working okay. I haven't uh, broken a drill yet. That's always a plus. I don't know. That seemed to have uh, 
mine that distance awful quickly. Ah, oh, there's some platinum right there. Huh. One of the negatives on minerals on large bodies that seems to the weathering or whatever the planet formation or the moon formation process seems to distribute the ores in thin layers. Uh, you're saying there's something there, and then you run away. So... Excuse me if I don't quite believe it. I do not see any platinum anywhere. That was an awful lot of effort for nothing. We got some cobalt still. A little teeny bit of platinum. That's all. Okay, well that's fun. You say there's some there, but there isn't. I'm not liking this. saw a splotch over here. Let's see what's over here. Hate to go mining and not come back with something. Side so rock. Iron and cobalt. Anything? Be sure nice to have some gold. Pickle. There's another one. Let's look.
feel like I'm chasing the elusive fox. He's leading me further and further astray. Boy. No short of nickel and cobalt. Eh, let's not go that way. Not prepared to deal with pirates at the moment. Silicon. Uranium. Oh, uranium would be nice. Okay, where's the uranium? Magnesium. Okay, let's, uh, oops, back off a little ways, find an angle. Not too steep an angle, let's just go for one a little bit less intense. Come on. Where is it?
Okay, I think that's enough for now. Wonder if we can turn around. Sometimes we get in deep enough and yeah, perfect. I like that a lot better. We can also use our boring drills to get out and make the hole a little bit bigger. Except we can't see where we're going. Okay, perfect. Straighten up. Head for the barn. Let's see if I can line up as well as I did last time. The odds are against it. Not too bad. Let's see. Yeah, need a little bit of tilt action here. A little bit to the side. There we go. That wasn't too bad. Getting the hang of this. Okay, let's uh, turn off the thrusters. Turn on the recharge of the battery and check and make sure that all the ores are going into the station. Where is the tangents? About ore, I think. I labeled a cargo container with ore. I sure did. Okay, let's move the stone in there and we'll move the cobalt in there. Cobalt. And looks like M1 is empty. Perfect. I wonder how much stone I have. I was afraid of that. A whole bunch of stone. I think and I need to make a way for stone to be discharged or we're going to end up with a, a whole lot of unnecessary stone. Here's, oh, there's a Gatling gun down here. I did not even know that. Interesting. I wonder what good he does. Okay, here's a conveyor. If I put a sorting 
conveyor part on this. And let's turn him right side up. Right there. And then I put a small cargo container right there. And then I put a connector that's oops, set to th throw out stone. I don't have anything you want, do I? About you, are you less fussy? Oh, you're just as fussy. Ah, uh, well, that's to be expected, I guess. Oh, we can get pieces, parts right here. And we need some plate. A couple hundred. Don't need that. Motors he didn't want. Construction components he probably wants a bunch of. Yes, computers. Everybody wants computers. And girders. Small tubes. Let's see how that works. Of action for so few of so few parts that I had. Looks like I need to make some computers. Thank you. 
Now if I whitelist stone, stone, inhabit drain all for now. I can turn this on and off when I want to. Then it'll pull all the stone out. Store it in the cargo container and then as it can, can it will as it can. Okay. We'll make a nice little pile right there. That's okay. Now, I wonder how much did we collect so far? How much? Oh, the connector holds more than I thought it did. Okay, so it's uh, already collected all the stone we have in the system. That's good. Okay. And when we just when we need some stone, we can turn that off and process it through the refineries. Okay. Well, it's night time. The neighbors are quiet. Things are settling down. I need to end this journal entry. Recharge the uh, batteries. I'll talk to you later. I hope you enjoyed. Have a good day, and as always, keep smiling.